I don't really know what the world going for this guy, man. Like, he seems like a bit of a knob, in it? Like, I understand his position. I get where he's coming from. I think being, you know, a star athlete in the sense of Novak Djokovic, who I'm talking about, and having his stance in terms of anti-vaccinations and maybe questioning things is really important. Like I said, I think it's important to have people in society who are willing to push back against, um, you know, collective narrative question things um especially given their position because they've got a lot on the line they're risking a lot they've got a position of relative power or influence people listen to them and again i just think it's healthy for a balanced conversation and, and a um somewhat thriving society to have people who can maybe argue without getting too emotional and kind of have their positions without you know demonizing one or the other i think it's fine but this guy seems like he's kind of just in there for himself it doesn't seem like he has any kind of ideological stance he's taking or anything. He's just being a knob or being an attention seeker, right? Being the main character of his own movie. So this is Curse of the Garden. This is Novak Djokovic faces fines or prison for breaking isolation while in positive, while testing positive for COVID. It says the following. Um, Novak Djokovic could face five or even, sorry, a fine or even prison in Serbia after his admission that he broke the isolation <laughs> while he had COVID last month. Lawyers have said, as the Serbian Prime Minister warned, his behavior appeared to be clear breach of the rules. The 34-year-old Belgradian-born tennis player is chasing record-breaking 21st Grand Slam victory at Australia Open. I'm sh again imagine actually chasing another grand slam right being a star athlete and willingly having all these distractions around you like there's clearly something not quite right with this lad mate like he should be focusing on your tennis not flipping fighting for the i don't know it just doesn't make any sense but let's continue um but could yet be deported to the government, which is unhappy with his medical exemption from inoculation. Djokovic on Wednesday acknowledged that he knew that he had tested positive when he attended a newspaper interview and photo shoot in Serbian capital on the 18th of December. What a wanker. Saying in a statement that social media, he had made an error in judgment. This is the thing I don't like about people that are anti-vax, right? You're allowed to be anti-vax. Do whatever the hell you want. Again, I'm, I'm annoyed by the whole jabbing thing because we, we essentially got sold a dream. We were told to get jabbed and to get vaccinated and we'll be returning back to normal. So I rushed to get it just so I can kind of say when the doors do reopen for society to go back to normal, I'm ready. But essentially that didn't happen. And essentially it doesn't matter if you got the vaccine anyway, because we're all in the same position. Maybe I, I get to go into the club sooner than you, but you could still show your papers and get in. There is no delineation between who doesn't have it, doesn't have it. There's no rule like, oh, you can't go there because you're not vaccinated. It doesn't exist here in the UK, thankfully. I think they've, they're trying to run it through um, the parliament or whatever it may be in France, but we don't have that here at the moment. So you can do everything you want in the UK, just as long as you're willing to kind of jump through the hoops and present your, you know, whatever documents you need to present. So we clearly got sold a dream, but I also don't like the anti-vax approach where they want to impose their skepticism and their willingness not to believe whatever comes out about COVID. They don't think it's real. They don't think it's as lethal as people make it seem. They think it's all a conspiracy, but they're willing to put other people at risk for their beliefs. And I think that's super selfish. That's what I don't like. Fair enough, you want to be anti-vax, but then don't get the virus and then go to other places and willingly spread it. Because if you don't believe in it, why are you going out trying to spread it to people? Like, what are you doing? It just seems so reckless, so selfish um, and just nuts. Like, again, and it's just, it kind of takes away from your message because like I said, I don't I don't agree with the guy, but it's, it's important to have that conversation. But then immediately when you start doing these wanky things, no one wants to listen to you because you just come across like a knob. And I'm assuming that's most people are thinking now because already he was a little bit main character syndrome, right? In terms of the whole for around it, his parents having press conferences and interviews, his brother, like just nonsense. The whole Djokovic family is like addicted to fame in the same way, which is funny, they're like in the same way that Fauci can't stop talking, right? He can't stop, he can't, st he's not willing to step aside and, you know, let somebody else maybe talk about COVID and prevention because maybe he's kind of ruined his reputation. He still thinks he's the oracle of how people should be dealing with COVID, right? He's the kind of unofficial spokesperson of the CDC. Um, same with this family. They just can't stop showing up. They, you know, they see a camera, they want to sit down and speak, <sighs> whatever, man. Djokovic, I want you to acknowledge the, 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 the error in judgment. So let's quickly look at this overview. Um, <laughs> the guardian and see what they said about it what an absolute knobhead man imagine doing that willingly going to outdoors around people when you know you got the virus when you know you got covid like some people just 
some people are the worst in it some people are generally the worst like okay it's nice it's a youtube video fuck it let's, let's stop that it's good let's read it sorry sorry about that so um, the player blamed human error by his uh, support team for a mistake in the immigration paperwork saying that he had failed to declare that he had traveled outside the survey to spain in a two-week period before entering the u.s the sorry show them this guy sounds like an absolute prick. He said local lawyers in Serbia told local reporters that breaking the quarantine script isolation rules was an offence under Article 248 on the Criminal Code and subject to a fine or prison sentence of up to three years. Although community service was more likely, Djokovic was free from immigration's detention centre in Melbourne on Monday after the judge ruled the treatment to was unreasonable. The unvaccinated star is relying on the recent previous coronavirus infection for an exemption allowing it to play. So he's basically saying because he got it before, he's now has the antibodies and he's like, i don't know man these people are so annoying and then i think there was a really good actual clip actually let me see if i can get the clip up there was a clip here courtesy i think of an australian news where they basically had some very choice words to say about him and his approach and i think it was quite reasonable i think a lot of people kind of agreed with what they had to say about it let me see if i can get it let me see if i can get it up here but yeah i don't understand these people man they want to put everyone else at risk because what if you don't believe in it it's not real why but then i guess it works both ways if you don't believe in the virus then you would obviously believe if you go out that no one's everyone's going to be fine you're not going to kill anyone's grandma that's probably what you're thinking in your head but i just think it's so reckless and unnecessary especially for somebody his position it's like why would you do that like people don't need to be um subjected to that sort of stuff but let me see if i can see it here whatever way you look at it no, that Djokovic is a lying, sneaky yeah. He's an asshole. asshole. He is an asshole. <laughs> like, whatever way you look at it, it's yeah. unfortunate that, that everybody else stuffed up around him. That, that's it. And then he's an asshole. Like, to go out when you know you're COVID positive. Well, yeah. I don't think he was even COVID positive. I, I, I think, think that form is true. You've got a bullshit fucking excuse and then fell over his own fucking lies, which is what happens, right? Ah, so I'm guessing people are, are hypothesizing that he probably wasn't COVID positive because I guess he's doing that because he says if you get it, yeah, I guess the thinking is if you say you're positive, that means you can be exempt because you've already had it, so you've had the antibodies. But people are hypothesizing he probably never had COVID in the first place. He just said it so he can get out of not taking the vaccine and being medically exempt. It's just, oh, I don't know. Imagine doing all this in Australia too, the place where they've been the most draconian in their laws. They've been, you know, there's a lot of controversy online about whether or not what they're doing in terms of the, what are they call those COVID recovery centres or whatnot, if they're, if they're gulags or whatnot, who knows what. But, you know, they seem to be very strict in the way that they approach things. So to kick up such a fuss in such a country, you know, it's definitely, um, it's definitely main character syndrome, like for sure. Like, you know, he's front, look at him, he's front and centre on this clip I've got here on the show. That's showing you, I showed a little bit of it because I've obviously got it from Reddit. But he's front and centre here, right? In the middle of the flipping news program. So clearly he's he's kind of he's um his approach has worked in some degree because look at that. There he is in the middle of the news, standing there, imperious. Let's finish it anyway and then move on. Yeah. That's what's happened. And then him now then ticking he didn't go to Spain. Yeah. It's just like Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think I think he's gonna get away with it. Well, he is gonna get away with it. Yeah, I just. But he's. Just I think most fair-minded people would say, look, the bloke's an, an asshole. Did we? Did they, they? They do the right thing by him? I don't know. No, I don't. I, I don't. They think, fucked it up. I don't think so. That's okay. the problem, isn't it? I don't think. I don't think anything was gained by putting him in. No. In immigration. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But the trouble is, how do you justify? That person's on the same plane with him who also has... He can't justify it, but the fact exactly. that his life is never fair. Mm, yeah. Some people fly first class and some yeah. people... Do you know what? Like, yeah. it's never fair. Good point. But that poor Czech girl that was fucking yeah, sent know. home, hunted down and sent home. Yeah, but... <laughs> but yeah, madness, isn't it? Absolute cunt he is isn't it really really is man like such an unlikable guy man it's like again be anti-vax but why are you subjecting us to your flipping um nonsense but i guess as part of being anti-vax you just it's just you in both cases if you're pro-vaccine and pro-lockdown you are nuts if you're anti-vaccinations and you think it's all a conspiracy to you know put 5g antennas in you you're nuts there is no median 
There is no medium. There is no middle ground to be in. It's either you're all in or you're all out. It's just flipping wild, isn't it? You, in the beginning, we all hoped this virus would kind of unite us and it would kind of get us to realize that we're all kind of the same, right? We're going through our struggles. We all just want to hug our parents and, you know, hang around with our friends and have a dance and go to a nice restaurant and be able to go on holiday. You know, we've got these shared things, these shared values that we all kind of, or things that we want to do, right? They're not values, the things we like to do. <laughs> But instead, it's basically driven a massive wedge in between all of us. We're probably more divided now than we ever were. Crazy to think that, isn't it? We're more divided now than we ever were. Crazy to think that. Absolutely crazy. But what can you do? 